My name's Dave Freeman. I've got 500,000 New World shares and I've been accumulating them for the last two or three months. My name's Mitchell Nunn and I hold 600,000 shares in New World Oil and Gas and I've been invested since September of 2011. My name is Jason Smitherman. I own 200,000 shares and I'm only recently invested. My name is Paul Johnson. Uh, I've been invested in New World Oil and Gas since May of this year. I'm Colin Sled and I've been invested in New World Oil since June the 2nd of this year. I hold approximately 5 million shares and hold it in my set. What I try to do in my investments is to identify opportunities that are very lowly valued but have a great deal of potential uh, to re-rate, I think is the common phrase, as time goes by. Uh, New World were operating uh, a business model that had very clear uh, operational objectives, uh, had a good management team and had all the ingredients necessary, including money, a little bit of money always helps, uh, to drive the business forward in the future. Um, I initially invested in New World Oil and Gas uh, for a number of reasons. Um, one, they were uh, trading at cash value, which I believe was about four million at the time after completing a place in it, uh, I think it's for three million at 6p. Uh, they've got two fantastic assets, um, both in prolific hydrocarbon systems, uh, fantastic management, um, you know, proven track record, they've had success before, um, low amount of shares in issue. Makes me think that there's real growth in that share price because basically the CPR that's come out and the resource that they're sitting on versus the market cap, to be honest, it sort of answers itself really. My friend also um, kindly emailed me a question and answer that he'd had with the CEO, Bill Kelleher, which I found very informative, very investor friendly, and it was pretty obvious to me the knowledge that the guy had. So uh, after a little bit more research, a uh, couple of conversations with my friend, that's when I decided to take the plunge. Uh, done my research um, and then bought a million shares. Um, I decided to have a meeting with Bill and Peter um, to have a look in a bit more detail of the company. Um, after that, um, I was very, very impressed with their enthusiasm, knowledge, and particularly the assets, and decided to increase my holding significantly. Communication is 100% the most important thing that a management team have to do. Uh, you've got to remember that the private investors or the shareholders at large are the owners of the business. And uh, you have to tell them what's going on. Now, the stock market has uh, very sensible regulations uh, as to the uh, management of information. But it's essential that the company communicates on a regular basis, updates what's happening and lets people know about progress that's being made. I feel New World Oil and Gas do that very, very well. They're uh, regular with their updates, they provide sufficient detailed information and they're on schedule. But in addition to that, they're open for communication uh, with shareholders who have further queries and need some extra help and information. After uh, various email correspondence with uh, Bill, uh, I had the opportunity to meet him in London. Um, he gave me an hour of, hour of his time. I like the way that they've under-promised, over-delivered. And they've, um, they've known that, they've obviously known that, and they've, they've played that very well. Um, haven't come out saying, we're this, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, like I've, I've had experience of in other companies. The communication uh, from the company to investors, to my knowledge, is, is second to none. They do everything to update the shareholders at every stage in the process. And I think if you start as you mean to go on, I think it can only be good for everybody involved. The CPR this week um, for New World Oil was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't think anybody expected the P50 of 294 million barrels. Potentially uh, a billion barrels recoverable across the six prospects, well five prospects and, and one lead. 
Um, also, I was very encouraged by the fact that the probability of success has gone from one in eight to one in five. Um, the COS, very low, about as low as you can get in the industry. Now, I say fantastic, but I think the market has a little bit of indigestion because what it wasn't expecting is to have such a significant uh, number of figures within there. When you've got uh, an MPV 10 of $1.53 billion, uh, you've got uh, on P50 294 million recoverable barrels. That kind of data was not really uh, expected from the company. It's fantastic as an investor. It makes me feel extremely confident about the investment. Obviously, things can uh, change, things go wrong. This is the oil and gas business. But to have this kind of progress at this stage so quickly is super. Well, when I uh, saw the RNS and the CPR on uh, uh, Tuesday morning, I, uh, to say I was shocked was an understatement. And then if you look back and you consider how many sites were looked at before they bought Belize, it's a case of one in 60, they did their work properly and it's now starting to pay off. OK, well, I'll apply the same principles to New World as I would do to any other investment. I start out and buy a share in the hope that certain things will happen and progress will be made. Uh, I'm seeing uh, positive progress at every stage with New World. And for me, that means I hold and carry on holding as this progress continues and develops. Now, the markets at the moment... Uh, it's December uh, 2011, everyone's a little bit fraught, things are nervous, it's scary out there. And the share prices of good companies and bad companies are lowly valued, lower perhaps than they ought to be. Now I believe that as the market recovers, as the strength returns and people's confidence gets back to where it was a little while ago, uh, then we'll start to see proper valuations for some of these companies and for a company that's come out with nothing but positive developmental uh, news uh, that's a good thing so I'm sat here I'm going to hold and see how things develop. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased with my investment up to now obviously because I'm in front I think um, th that it will grow I think that um, the track record of the CEO especially at Victoria Oil and Gas if you look at when he was there what it was worth when he came in what it was worth when he left, um, it was many multiples of, of any investment. My thoughts are, I haven't got enough of them. I intend to add to my holding. Remember, this is only the Belize project. We've still got Denmark and potentially other projects in the pipeline. I, I can't wait for the future. I think the management in this company are purely oil people, been there, done it, got the t-shirt, um, a wealth of experience at every high level in other oil companies, they've got worldwide experience, I'd feel confident if they put some more projects in the pipeline wherever it was in the world and I'm really happy to be in here. These are one of the best, they've got uh, a combined industry experience of about 80 years. They've had previous success before with uh, Victoria Oil and Gas taking that company from a, a 15 million market cap up to about the high of a, a 270 million. It's all about the people. I mean, obviously we've got to get to the oil and the geology and the technicals and everything else, but if you've got the wrong people doing it, you, you ain't getting the oil. I would say that the management team is absolutely everything. You can have the best projects in the world, but if you don't have a management team in place who can uh, control and run the business in the right way, make sure the people are there to do the technical work, make sure the funding and finance is there to uh, grease the wheels, as it were, make sure that uh, the future operational objectives, the company strategy, is right, and make sure that investors are engaged and proper communications are in place, you're in trouble. There are so many companies out there that don't have good effective management. When you find one that does, uh, you hold on to it. We have a good broad management team, we have corporate strength, we have legal strength, we have prior oil and gas experience and we have uh, a drive and a determination to succeed and to communicate that success as you're going along. If you've got the wrong people doing it, you, you ain't getting the oil. The PR and the communications uh, towards private investors is, 
is the best. I'm very excited about what they're unearthing in Belize and that's without taking Jutland into consideration and I'm sure there'll be uh, other projects in the pipeline. I'm very encouraged that the dilution will be kept to a, a min minimum. Uh, I think they're doing a great job and I I'm intrigued to see what will happen in the coming uh, weeks, months and years as the business develops. The company's trying everything possible, in my view, to minimise the risk by way of their process, the structure, um, to, to minimise the risks that are obviously inherent in oil exploration.